Yeast doughnuts require more time to make. A high-speed mixer works the yeast dough, then workers pull it off the machine into bins. From there, it goes into a hopper that extrudes the dough as a sheet. Then it's onto another conveyor belt, where a series of rollers flatten the dough sheet to just two centimetres thick. Next, the sheet passes under a shower of cinnamon, then hits a rotating cylinder that rolls it into a log. A small metal rod sprinkles the dough with water. This keeps it sticky, so it holds its shape while going under another flattening roller. A dusting of cornstarch keeps the dough from sticking to the blade that now cuts it into pieces. A retractable arm drops the blocks of dough, four at a time, onto a wire mesh tray. Then it's off to the proofer, a machine much like a large bread box, in which heat and humidity make the yeast dough rise. This leavening process takes about 20 minutes, during which time the trays, over 300 of them, go up and down, and then out to the fryer. A gate slows them down just before the drop, so they slide in without splashing. Gas burners keep the oil at a constant temperature. Anything less and the doughnuts would come out partly raw. Halfway through, it's time to flip the doughnuts so they cook evenly throughout. After two minutes, the doughnuts leave the fryer and move through a curtain of sweet glaze. A strong air current blows off the excess, and they're done. They gradually cool as they spiral through the production area, on their way to packaging, 